Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Cleveland Browns. Oh, and how about this? An onside kick to start the game. And the Dolphins are going to recover. And they tried to give this home crowd something to cheer about early, but it failed. I don't know. Maybe you try that on the road to get some momentum. What about here at home? Would agree with you totally on that. I think at home, you don't ever want to put your fans in a position where they're questioning what you're doing. And right now, they have to be in the stand saying, why would we even do that? We're already behind you. You don't need us anymore. And this one, boy, an unsuccessful attempt. That could really change the momentum of this game in a hurry. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Get ready. Two and now on first down. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Time we kill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start. And there on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal. And it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken from about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And the defense closes quickly there. And will get maybe a yard to the 33. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Watson buying time to his left. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They go with Chubb on second down. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Watson on third down. This caught out left by Bell. And he's going to have the Browns first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. But they kept it simple there. CD only needed the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Throwing on second and eight, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And a crossover out of bounds right at the 
25. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Now Watson. Throw it. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? Uh, I like to credit the defense and the offense. I like the pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Now this one is... And now off to the races, down the right side. 30, 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Mike Gesicki, 96 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare him to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. The Browns drive about to get started. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Pretty shifty footwork, but didn't buy him much. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Watson. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Swanson. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jadavian Clowney able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. To try again after the sack. 
Tua. He'll let this go for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your Here defense comes off go. the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. Two are going to try and throw for it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They attempted to fade to the back corner of the end zone unsuccessfully, and I've been with you long enough, Brandon. I know that's not one of your favorite calls. Well, it's interesting. Before working with you, I always viewed that as you're just taking away space and you're trapping yourself in a corner, but you actually have told me they're trying to create space where space is not. Yeah, it's really a, it's a weird deal, isn't it? But you've got to just move that defender inside to create that separation and that little bit of space where there just isn't much. On first down, it's Watson. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Watson under pressure. They got him again. Following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. Now back to throw. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins.